in this video, I want to go over something that people seem to be confused about. Cricut Design Space has a feature called Attach, and I'm going to show you ways you can do what attaching in Cricut Design Space will do, but using the Create software. So the first thing I have here is um, cutting one shape or a design out of another. So here I have just a rectangle and let me zoom in here. Um, some script fonts, you know, uh, regular font and a shape. So the first thing I want to do is make sure I weld this, which is path union. So that covers the weld um, because there's attach, weld, slice, and then contour is a whole different um, thing, but I can show you how to do that as well. Actually, I think I have a video on that. It's called um, making color layers or something like that in my playlist. Anyway, um, okay, so you can weld it by going path union or you can come to your style panel and click this box right here that says weld. This is temporary, so you can always undo this, okay? All right, so once I've done that, then um, I can select this script font, hold shift, select my rectangle, and go to uh, path back minus front, okay? Now I can do multiples, but as you can see, if I select the star and the create and the rectangle, and I try to do back minus front, that is not available. Um, another way to do it is merge, um, and that is available. Now it does change the colors, so um, it changes, let me go back to the color that you have on top, okay? Um, or you can just select everything. Well, let me back up and undo the StarCraft as well. So I'll select everything and right click and group it, which puts it all on its own layer and it treats it as one. And then I can hold shift, select the rectangle and either do object merge or path back minus front, okay? Now, in Cricut, the only thing you see when you select all and attach is just the cut lines, like these black lines that you see here. Uh, but it gives you the same result. You, when you attach like this in design space, what you'll do then is after it's cut, you'll weed out all of the letters and the shape. Uh, this is just already visually uh, done that, okay? Of course, when it cuts, your shapes are still going to be there, but you're going to have to weed them out. So this is kind of like slice, because uh, slice does in most cases the same thing as attach. There are a few differences, but uh, people like to slice and just pull everything out so they can see uh, what's going to come out. And uh, that's why I always say when I see people say um, use slice, I just tell them all you need to do is select all and attach because it's going to put those cut lines there the same as Slice does, but Slice gives you this visual, okay? So again, um, you can either merge, object, merge, and that's selecting multiple, um, multiple things. Let me put another, let me go back. Let me put a little star here. And let me put a little star here. I kind of got that off. There we go. All right, so if I select all of this, I can object merge. Okay, if I select all of this, 
I can't do path back minus front because I have more than two objects. So I would have to select these and um, go to path union or I can right click and group and then select everything. Then I will be able to do back minus front. Okay, so that's that part of it. And then um, another thing people are getting confused on is how do they know if they're trying to, you know, write something on a shape, how do they know it's going to be in the right spot? Well, it's going to be in the right spot because you put it in the right spot. So what I did here was I... Uh, wrote out some text and I actually just copied and pasted it but um, there's a story behind this anyway uh, then I drew my shape okay and I placed my text on top of my shape now you can see if I zoom in here you can see that I got really close to this edge and I left room here on this edge now if I zoom out and I look at this image you can see that it's very close here and not close here. It's exactly where I put it, okay? This is the actual physical one that I um, wrote on and cut out, all right? So there is no attach. It's It depends on where you place this. I have it grouped. Let me ungroup it. Uh, where you place this text on your shape. So if I were to move it over to this side, then that's how it's going to cut, okay? It's, it's going to cut right up against this edge, just as it did uh, up against this edge, okay? Now, um, what I like to do is, let me go ahead and uh, turn this off. What I like to do, and I suggest that you do too, until you get used to how this works. Select everything and come over to um, position and size and see what your width and your height is, okay? So then you're going to come back to document. This is 7.7, .7, so I'll just make it eight. I'll make it nine and a half wide by eight high. Come to your document, make a custom size uh, nine, by, or was it nine and a half? I think it was nine and a half by eight. Okay. <clears throat> now, when I select everything and put it on the mat, I can come to my position and size two page and line it up horizontal and vertical. Of course, my text is not going to be correct because of the shape of the heart. So then I would need to adjust that, get it where I want it, and put it more in the center this time. I can use the horizontal, I just can't use the vertical because the vertical will put it off, but that did as well. So here we go. All right, then I'll group it, okay, and then I'll align it to the page. Now, when I put my blade here, uh, and I am in WYSIWYG mode, what you see is what you get, it's going to write this out, and then it's going to cut the shape. Now, you can... Um, make sure that you have two different colors here, all right? If I come to my uh, color palette here and I select my, well, I have to ungroup it now. Sorry. I'm going to do a video on this part here, uh, but I give that a color, and then this, of course, has its own color. So when I go to create, to draw... I make a uh, custom um, setting to draw with the pressure that I need for the pen 
and then I also do a custom card cut okay so then because these are two different colors I can come to cut by color I can put my uh, draw layer on the top and then it will draw and if this is in separate jobs there's uh, two different settings here okay make sure it's in separate job not single job when it's in separate job it's going to write and then the machine's going to stop so you can change from your scoring tool to your blade all right but like i said i'm going to do a whole video on that it just seems that people are not grasping the concept that you don't have to attach your writing to whatever you're going to write on because the software recognizes that you have set this layer in the style panel to draw. I forgot that part. And this one to cut. So it already knows what to do. And it knows where to do it because you have this set to WYSIWYG mode. Okay. And again, this is your material size, and your blade's going to go right here in the bottom right. So there's, um, let me go back to the 12 by 12 size mat. There's no need to attach the text to a shape, okay? So that is that part. And then um, for scoring, you would normally attach your... Um, scoring lines and let me go ahead and just draw a line here in the middle I'll hold shift so it goes straight down and then hit enter and make sure that that has a stroke color <clears throat> and I probably want that darker okay and then I can select both of these come to align and align them both horizontally you can do vertically as well but um, okay so now I need to select this score line come over here to my style panel and set that to score and then make sure that my rectangle is set to cut and then that's all you need to do you move this down here uh, because it always cuts on the bottom uh, right not the upper left like a cricket does it's the bottom right position your blade right here in this corner make sure again that you are in WYSIWYG mode and it's um, your score pressure is set to what it needs to be uh, mine is if I come here and choose score uh, I need to score two times at my score pressure 75 and then to cut the card stock um, it turns off the multi cut and it uses the pressure so uh, then in order to have the machine stop again you'll choose cut by color and you'll make sure that your score line is above and you are in separate jobs and it will score first the machine will stop then you can put your blade in and um, cut okay so then if you have a raster image and you want to cut these words out of this image okay First thing you're going to do is go to File, Place Image, and find the image that you want, okay? And then open that. I have this one here. Then you're going to select it, right-click, copy, select again, right-click, and paste in place. So now if you look at your Layers panel, you have two um two images. I'm going to grab my text and put it on the top because that's where it needs to be. Uh, I already typed it out because this was the font that I wanted 
and it doesn't have an apostrophe. So I had to go ahead and make my own apostrophe from a different font, whatever. Anyways, um, if you if you file place image and then right click and copy, right click paste and place, then type out your text, it will automatically be on the top. All right. So then I'm going to position this where I want it, okay, and I can, well, I was going to align it, so I'll just align it, well, I'll choose all of them, and I'll align them center, vertical, and horizontal to the page. All right, so then I'm going to come here and select my text, and the image that's under my text, you know, not this one, directly under my text, I should say, I guess. All right, so I have these two selected. Then I'm going to go to path, back minus front. Now don't worry about what it looks like because we're going to select both of these now and go to object, clip path, set clip path. And then it is cut out of a raster image. So that's um, how attach works in the create software. If you need to know how to do anything else, just leave a message um, in the comments below the video, or you can find me in the Facebook group that is also in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.